Most Seventh-day Adventists are lifestyle Adventists. They're in it for the lifestyle. Most Orthodox Jews uh, are Orthodox Jews because it's an identity. It's a way of life. Most Christians are Christian because it's an identity. They're not primarily Jewish. They're not primarily Muslim. They're not primarily gay, right? They're Christian, and the beliefs are not particularly important to 95% of people with a religious identity. And the practices may not be particularly important. The teachings and the, you know, the great prophets right, may not be particularly important. And the you know, sacred religious texts, right, they're important only to the extent that they buttress, support, reveal, deepen an identity. Right? In today's incredibly atomized, confusing, you know, ever more economically efficient Right? Ever more use of analytics, you know, ever more use of streamlining, you know, ever more making things more efficient by getting ways of getting rid of you know, things that made the world you know, magical and enchanted. But instead, we're, we're, we're making the world ever more economically efficient and we're streamlining. And you know, traditional practices you know, don't hold up to you know, modern neoliberal economic analysis, we're frequently trashing them. So in this world where we increasingly may feel atomized, economized, rationalized, removed from the enchanted and the magical, you know, people are hanging on to identity. That's, that's the bulwark. It's, it's their hero system. It's a way that they can ward off feeling insignificant because they belong to a community 